Often in mathematics we're presented with a question which might ask us to expand a pair of brackets, as in the case here, x plus 30 and y plus 12, and it's not immediately obvious the process to go through. Let's just take things back a little bit and have a look at the area of a rectangle. We've got a rectangle here that measures 30 by 12 units. The way to work out the area is just to multiply the length and the width. And we can also see that here algebraically. If we've got W and H representing the dimensions of the rectangle, the final area for that would be W multiplied by H, or WH units squared. Let's combine those two concepts together, so we'll make it into a larger rectangle. Now if we look across the base of the rectangle, we'll call that the length, we can see that we've got X and 30, or we combine them to be X plus 30. And we'll place that in one bracket. Along the side there, we'll call that the width, we've got Y and 12. So in the other bracket, Y plus 12 represents the width. And to determine the area, we multiply the length by the width. To make this problem easier, what we'll do is we'll break our large rectangle into four smaller ones. And you can see here that our cutoffs have been based on where the X and 30 are, and where the Y and 12 are in both the length and width respectively. So we create our four rectangles with different lengths and width. We can see here that in the top left hand corner, we've got an X across the length and a Y for the width and the 12 and 30 have also been used in a similar manner. So the area of the rectangle in the top left hand corner is length multiplied by width, or in this case, x multiplied by y, or just xy. If we continue that process through for the other rectangles, we can see that the rectangle in the top right hand corner will be 30 multiplied by y, the one in the bottom left hand corner, x multiplied by 12, and the rectangle in the bottom right hand corner, 30 multiplied by 12. And now we can see the resulting areas for each of those rectangles. xy, 30y, and then across the bottom, 12x, and 360. To determine the area of the entire rectangle, what we need to do is add all of those parts together. So you can see here that our final area is xy, plus 12x, plus 30y, plus 360. Now every time we're asked to expand brackets, we don't want to be drawing a whole series of rectangles, that could be very time consuming. So we need to look for a pattern that exists between the original question, in brackets, to our final solution. Let's have a look at the answers bit by bit. We can see here first up that the first part of our expansion, xy, matches the first two parts of the bracket, in other words, x and y multiplied together. If we look at the next part, which is plus 12x, we can see that's come from the x in the first bracket and the plus 12 in the second bracket. Likewise, the plus 30y has come from the plus 30 in the first bracket and the y in the first part of the second bracket. And then the plus 360 has come from the plus 30 and the plus 12 multiplied together in the first and second bracket respectively. This same process will always occur when we have a pair of terms in one bracket multiplied by a pair of terms in another bracket. A later video in our series does go through a process called FOIL, which outlines this same process of multiplying two brackets together piece by piece in an algebraic manner.